You know, it amazes me. There aren't that many people in city government who can say that they live in the same zip code they were born in. And so it does give me, I think, a unique perspective on the evolution of the city, as well as where I hope the city is going for my kids and for everybody. I think that the single most important thing we've done is to lay out a plan that recognizes how all the different levers can come together to drive more impact and more production and, quite frankly, more preservation of the housing stock that we have here in New York City. It's very important when we look at growing the economy to think about where are the places that companies and people want to grow their businesses. And again, it ranges from small creative, industrial, and technology companies to thinking about what are we doing in places like Midtown East, right, which have been sort of the epicenter of the global culture and commerce for decades. And so I think for us, it is absolutely intertwined. What our city looks like, the places that people want to work, and most particularly, how do companies want their workforce to experience the urban environment? Every community, every person in New York deserves design. It's ultimately a reflection of who we are as a culture. And New Yorkers are the best, the funkiest, the brightest, the most innovative. And that shouldn't matter whether you live in the South Bronx, or you live in Tribeca, or you live in Red Hook. You are entitled to and deserve good design. But we also can't take actions that prevent us from moving forward. And I think that Landmarks has done a terrific job in this administration of striking that balance, again, of celebrating and preserving neighborhoods and buildings that ultimately reflect all of New York, while also allowing the city to move forward with a really smart growth agenda. There is no better place on the planet to live. I've been lucky enough to travel around the globe, and there is something about New York's energy. It's, it's diversity, quite frankly, and I mean diversity in every sense of the word. The diversity of its neighborhoods, its building typologies, its population, its language, its food. It is not a one-company town. It's an incredibly diverse town. And out of that diversity comes what I truly believe the most innovative ideas and the most interesting place for people to live and to grow and to raise a family. And so my hope for New York and the work that I'm getting to do here now is to really celebrate that diversity and strengthen that diversity. And so our job is to make sure that we are making the investments both in the built environment and in our human capital and our cultural capital and our education systems so that again, this unbelievably organic excitement around New York can continue to grow. Let's make the investments in the people, places, and companies that are going to make this city continue to be the global center of commerce, culture, and innovation.